beyond it looks like a tie if i'm being honest well hello everybody welcome back to another video where today we are playing beyond perception and i've actually played a minecraft remake of this and i've also played the second one of that but not on my channel i honestly did not know it was a remake of this game i didn't even know this game existed until today when i found it on game jolt so if you guys want, me, want to see me play the Minecraft version of this, be sure to leave a like and then I guess I'll play it again, but for my channel and, well, the Minecraft version I'm talking about. So anyway, if you don't know what Beyond Perception is, basically, if we go around this corner, there should be a bunch of paintings and stuff that we go into and they're basically illusions and we need to find out how to get to the end of the painting and then we need to go through all of the paintings to win honestly this looks extremely similar to the minecraft one so the minecraft one did a good job so there's a lot of stuff here that i'm not gonna bother reading okay so here's number one which actually just means this is the first beyond perception i think and you know i couldn't find the second one i found a fan game so this is called the pond bridge you can't see it, yet it may be there. Let's go inside. So you have to stand on that, and we have to look at the painting. Okay, guys. Yeah, we are. This is so cool. This already looks like some sort of maze. So, there's somewhere that you have to walk. You can't see it. So it's right there. Okay. Unless that's go through. I don't know. Check out how weird this looks, guys. You can already see this is going to be a massive illusion. And it might take, like, half an hour to complete. So, I think it's right yeah Ooh. okay guys we made it and there we just left the painting it is complete whoa you can actually look inside of it that's very fancy but you can't do it with the other ones can you yes you can i think unless that's an illusion maybe try it with this one yeah you can look inside it i think that's extremely cool the wall breaking through the barriers oh i like this music i'm gonna turn my sound up okay guys that's way better but now Okay, I hit escape and it made me leave the room. I hit escape because my mouse was there for some reason. Can you let me in? Okay, perfect. See guys, this music is very cool. So we need to find a way to get up there. And what? Whoa. Okay, that was, that was easy. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Out of bounds. There's no limit. Except the ones we set. I mean, they have a point. Let's go inside the painting. Whoa. Do we just like walk around oh so those are stairs okay so far they're starting off pretty easy honestly okay let's go inside this Ch chasm okay i didn't get to read what that said we'll read it when we finish this oh no i remember this music from when i played the minecraft map i think this one is really hard the thing is okay the white wall is over there and we need to find a way to get to it also this music is quite loud i don't know how it sounds for you guys i would might have to turn my sound down. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Ooh, so close yet so far. How do I get up there? Well, it's not from here. I can tell you that. So I go from here. I jump to here. And I could try jump to here. Okay, guys. We've made it past that painting. So this one, now, once you finish it, you can see inside it. That's actually really cool. So this one's called Chasm. While hitting the bottom, learn to look up. Okay, so I suppose we were supposed to look up that one, but we didn't need to. Okay, two count. It's difficult to figure out when it's time to change your ways. Let's just jump into this one. I think, if I remember correctly from the Minecraft map, I think one of the tiles I actually go through. Like, one color. Oh, no, it switches. Okay, we need to try stand like half half. I like this music. This is very nice. Okay, so it starts off white. So we need to go like sideways like that. How is this working? I don't know. Now we need to go straight this way. This is somehow working, guys. Only problem is that it's very scary. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Oh. <sighs> Okay, I made it. Look at how cool that looks. I love how you can look into the paintings once you finish the levels. Like, check that out. This one kind of just looks the same anyways. Because it starts off like sort of looking like a normal painting. But then once you finish it, it literally looks 3D. It's crazy. So this one is called Memorial. Memories could avoid making the same mistakes. Okay, let's go inside. Whoa. So there's a nice path that we have to walk through. And there's some writing over there. This seems interesting. So I can't, like, sprint or anything on this game. Oh, okay. No, that's just the writing through the, the portal that we have to go to at the end. 
or should I say the exit to the painting. So this is a maze. But then, okay. Luckily, I do still sort of remember some parts from when I played the Minecraft map, but it could have changed. I don't know. How come this is dead end? Yeah, when on the thing, it doesn't show there being a dead end. Actually, the top doesn't show you anything. It just shows you sort of how to navigate it. But it doesn't show you where all the dead ends are. Okay, that's gonna be quite annoying. So I can't go... Wait, which way am I supposed to go then? You want a time lapse of me doing this maze? Yeah, you go. Okay guys, that took way too long. I ended up going backwards at some point. I don't know, I think I was actually honestly in there for only like six minutes. But it felt like forever, okay? Have we made it to the end? Ooh, there's just one more to go. What is this one called? Believe. You sometimes need help to believe in yourself and move on. Okay, I hope this one's not as hard as the previous one. And by that I mean I hope it's not a maze. Oh, I remember this from the Minecraft one. It's like it's invisible in a way yeah so it's invisible and you have to use the walls and the ceiling as guidance so you go to yeah but you don't go to yeah but at the same time you do go to yeah okay yeah that was right i was just testing it guys this is extremely confusing already so we need to make that jump which i'm scared about okay guys now for this final jump Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it, good. Now we can see inside the painting. I mean, this game is really cool. If you wanna check it out for yourself, there'll be a link in the description down below. Oh no, there's a long, dark hallway. A very long one. Now we've made it to some lights. It kind of looks like we're on some sort of road. If you look behind us, that's where all those creepy paintings were. And by creepy, I mean crazy illusions. Okay, guys, so I've made it to the end and there's now a giant spinning cube which i cannot jump inside so should we go that way or this way we can't go that way and i assume we can't go this way so we have to make our way to the end of the game i think this is it's another it's another long walk what is that at the end it's a tree it's a tree and what are these are these like candles they're just a bunch of random white lines whoa okay guys so I made it to the end of the game when I made it to the tree, but then what happened is as soon as I made it to the end, it literally kicked me out. It was like, oh, you made it to the end? Well done, you can leave this game now, goodbye. And then it just kicked you out. It didn't even say that, it just, you walked up to the tree, and boom, you're out of there. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This was Beyond Perception, a really really cool game it had a very small file size it was like only like 23 megabytes or something or 43 i don't know but it was very very small for this much content it was really good so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video leave a like to see me play more random games on my channel or more illusion based games and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye